Okay. Um, hello, and thank you for inviting me to be a reloader. And as you can see over there, I'm using the logo of the reloader guys, uh, who I think they've done a fantastic job. And I'm not using the University of Brighton logo because I do not consider that I'm here to talk about my academic career. Um, I am here to talk a little bit about DNA. I I'm not that kind of a doctor. I wish I was. I'd be much richer than I currently am. Um, I research, or my DNA, in fact, uh, is very much about hospitality and tourism. Um, I was born on a very small island called Leros uh, in Dodecanisa. And I was literally probably born in a restaurant. Um, I probably started working at about the age of 11 in a restaurant, uh, my godfather's restaurant. Sounds a little bit Italian, but trust me, it was very Greek. Um, and my whole career has been in this industry, in the tourism industry. I've run up tour operators. I've been in uh, big uh, corporations, Radisson Hotels. I was managing some of their uh, properties. And then by accident, at some point, I became an academic. So, just because everything in the documentation talks about me as an academic, just consider that I've got one foot in industry, one foot in academia. So I'm kind of confused. But it's not just about my DNA, it's also about your DNA, because I don't think here we are about reloading Greece. I don't think this is about reload Greece. Greece is beautiful, Greece is a concept, Greece is fantastic. What we're doing here is we're reloading Greeks. And really, a lot of you are asking, how do I do it? Well, you are kind of already are doing it. The only Greek I can reload is me, right? I can't even reload my wife if I wanted to. I wouldn't, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to get a kicking. Um, but <laughs> if you consider what we're here to do today, if we're, if we're doing this little step, I'm trying to go from the macro, from the wonderful speeches from some of our colleagues here, to the micro. So what I'm going to talk about is an idea that hopefully you can apply because I'm lazy, because I'm academic, and I'm not going to apply it. So hopefully, I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to use it. But you've got to be quick. The moment I say this, somebody's going to take that idea, and I hope it's not going to be a non-Greek. I hope whoever it is is at least a philelin. And what the next one, the next slide is about, is that in our DNA, we are experts in philoxenia. Philoxenia, right? You heard it from Peter. You hear it again and again. Hospitality, tourism is what we should be doing best. In terms of innovation, we should be very innovative. And we are, we're brilliant at Philoxenia. If you see any Greek, you know, you go to some Greek's house, um, the other day we had a party for my kids, and then my wife says, well, every time I go to the other kids' parties, you know, they just don't even give us coffee to the parents, it's all about the kids, so, you know, we're not gonna plan anything. And I'm like, hey, hey, we're Greeks. So here comes the pizza, here comes the coffees, here comes the wine, here comes the beer, and everybody had a great time. And next time, I think I'm going to have about 200 guests. Uh, <laughs> but we are great at Philoxenia. And what we should be considering now is, first of all, think of us as Philelines. Are we really Philelines? Do we just think about the Greeks? Am I Greek because of geography? I heard a lot about geography, and I'm sorry to some of the colleagues, I'm going to say bullshit. The world has changed dram dramatically, and geography now is really meaningless in most of industries. OK, some industries, it's very meaningful. I'm just going to say bullshit to geography. I'm going to say, don't rest on your laurels. I say become a philelinas, okay? Just love the concept of, and understand your DNA, understand that you already have a competitive advantage. The fact that you can talk two languages in itself, it has wired your brain so differently that you can think differently, and you can move on. At the same time, we've got to be humble. And what we have to understand, and excuse me for creating a word, it doesn't exist, but I think what we're missing is philondopia. Nagapame ton dopio. If you've ever been in a hoteliers association, in little hoteliers association, but I speed up, uh, meetings, and you see the discussion that is going, they're fighting with each other. The idea is to start loving our neighbor, right? Not crucify them. Because, very briefly, some stats for those of you who are not from the tourism, tourism industry. And this is from SETE, um, the 2010 versus the 2011 figures. And you can see that even in times of crisis, the one product that does really, really well is tourism. And in fact, this is only the tip of the iceberg because, as you know and I know, a lot of the money that are going through, for example, domestic tourism isn't there simply because they can't measure it simply because administration is quite bad in Greece, as it is. But who cares? We don't care about administration. We can't. All we can do is make a small step, right? 
Let's change Greece, somebody says. It's, it's, it's like when you have to do DIY. By the way, DIY in my home means do it yanni. Because when I need to fix my house, it does. <laughs> when I need to fix my house, I don't say on my list to do fix my house. And I don't say fix the floor. What I say is what is the next equipment I need to buy to fix the floor. And then across that, when I buy that, I cross it off my list and I feel good about myself. And then eventually, only took me six months, I have renovated the whole house. That's what we need to do. We need to start from, uh, from us. And if you look in terms of employment and the kind of money, the official figures, it's pretty damn good, isn't it? And then we have, and, and when the guy said to me, we, we need you to talk, I said, what well, am I talking about? We've got something like thousands of opportunities. Can I please have at least two days to talk about it? And they said seven minutes, and now I have only one. Well, I'm only going to talk about the all-inclusive holidays, which is the one product that everybody is disputing, and the fact that it kills SMEs. And we've got a 50% increase in reservations. And in times of crisis, people are scared, and they want to have safety, and they want to understand that they pay one payment, and Peter brought a snake, and I brought a scorpion. And although all-inclusive could be the scorpion that kills you, in fact, in South Mexico, the remedy for a bite from scorpion is to crush the scorpion and put it back on the wound. And I'm saying that the all-inclusive could be a bite remedy. What I'm going to probably have in the hour that we're going to talk later, for those of you who's, who are going to stay from tourism or are interested in tourism, I'm going to talk to you about how using social media, forget about just the geographical uh, restrictions, and have a one-stop shop where you can actually create the same product that corporations are using, taking away money from the local Greeks, and actually you being the innovator that support these little businesses. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to say, uh, you hear a lot about rules, and I'm just going to say, in every single industry, if you take the all-inclusive concept, forget about the rules. You can even break the rules. I know some of the bankers there are not going to like me. Right I, just <laughs> I love breaking rules. <laughs> Thank you.